system. The communication system is a system which describes the information exchange between two points. The process of transmission and reception of information is called communication. The major elements of communication are the transmitter of information, channel or medium of communication and the receiver of information. Here you can see the block diagram of communication system which shows that how communication system works. Elements of communication system Information source Input transducer Transmitter Communication channel Receiver Output transducer Destination Information source Information can come from virtually anywhere, media, blogs, personal experiences, books, journal and magazine articles, expert opinions, encyclopedias, and web pages. Input transducer An input transducer, or sensor, takes a form of physical energy and converts it into a signal which can be read. For example, a microphone takes physical sound waves and turns those into an electrical signal which can be transferred though wires to the amplifier. Transmitter A transmitter is an electronic device used in telecommunications to produce radio waves in order to transmit or send data with the aid of an antenna. The transmitter is able to generate a radio frequency alternating current that is then applied to the antenna, which, in turn, radiates this as radio waves. Communication Channel Communication channels are mediums through which you can send a message to its intended audience. For example, phone calls, text messages, emails, video, radio, and social media are all types of communication channels. Receiver In the communication process, the receiver is the listener, reader, or observer, that is, the individual, or the group of individuals, to whom a message is directed. The receiver is also called the audience or decoder. Output transducer an output transducer, or actuator, does the opposite of an input transducer. It takes electrical signals and converts them into another form of energy. For example, a lamp converts electricity to light and a motor converts electricity into motion. Destination Destination or receiver means the person for whom the source conveys the message through several medium. The receiver of the message may be readers, receivers, listeners, or viewers. For example, if person A is talking to person B, A is sender and B is receiver. Here you can see the figure of elements of data communication. Sender slash transmitter. A device used for sending data or messages is called sender, i.e., computer, telephone slash fax machine etc. Message The message is the data or information that is to be transmitted i.e., text, numbers, pictures, sounds and videos etc. Medium or communication channel the path through which data is transmitted from one place to another is called medium, i.e., telephone line, fiber optics, etc. Receiver A device used for receiving messages is called receiver, i.e., computer, telephone slash fax machine, printer, etc. Protocol a protocol is a set of rules that govern data communications. It represents an agreement between the communicating devices. Without a protocol, two devices may be connected but not communicating, 
just as a person speaking French cannot be understood by a person who speaks only Japanese. Encoder Since the subject matter of communication is theoretical and intangible, its further passing requires use of certain symbols such as words, actions, or pictures etc. Conversion of subject matter into these symbols is the process of encoding. Decoder the person who receives the message or symbol from the communicator tries to convert the same in such a way so that he may extract its meaning to his complete understanding. Data transmission modes and computer network. Transmission mode means transferring of data between two devices. It is also known as communication mode. Types of Data Transmission Modes Figure shows the types of data transmission modes. Simplex A simplex communication system can transmit data in one direction only i.e., only one signal is transmitted, and it always goes in the same direction. The data or information is transmitted by only one device and another device receives it. A good example would be television broadcasting, the keyboard to CPU receives only, such as a printer device. Figures shows the simplex data transmission mode. Half duplex mode. In half-duplex mode, each station can both transmit and receive, but not at the same time. When one device is sending, the other can only receive, and vice versa. The half-duplex mode is used in cases where there is no need for communication in both directions at the same time. The entire capacity of the channel can be utilized for each direction. Example, walkie-talkie in which message is sent one at a time and messages are sent in both directions. Figure shows the half-duplex data transmission mode. Full-duplex mode In full-duplex mode, both stations can transmit and receive simultaneously. In full duplex mode, signals going in one direction share the capacity of the link with signals going in another direction, this sharing can occur in two ways. Example, mobile, telephone computer network etc. This figure shows the full duplex data transmission mode. Computer network Computer networking refers to interconnected computing devices that can exchange data and share resources with each other. These network devices use a system of rules, called communications protocols, to transmit information over physical or wireless technologies. Advantages of computer network Convenient resource sharing Connectivity Security Great storage capacity. Reduced cost. Disadvantages of computer network. Lack of data security and privacy. Presence of computer viruses and malwares. Lack of independence. Lack of robustness. Need an efficient handler. Application of computer network medical field, entertainment, industry, education, government, banking, business. This figure shows the types of computer network on the basis of geographical. PAN, personal area network. The personal area network is used for interconnecting the devices which are centered on a person's workspace. This network provides data transmission among devices such as computers, smartphones, tablets, and personal digital assistants. 
This figure shows that how the computers are connected on PAN. Advantages of PAN In PAN no extra space requires. No need for extra cable and wire. It is secure. Connect to any devices at a time. It is easy to use. Disadvantages of PAN It can be operated in less range of areas. Slow data transfer PAN has a limited range. It can only be used for the personal area. LAN, Local Area Network The local area network is a computer network which interconnects the computer within the limited area such as a residence, school laboratory, university campus or office building. LAN, Local Area Network, spans a relatively small area. In a wireless LAN, the users have unrestricted movement within the coverage area. This figure shows that how computers are connected to LAN. Advantages of LAN Software sharing Convenient communication Centralized data Improved security Internet sharing Disadvantages of LAN It covers a small geographical area A virus can be spread more easily High degree of maintenance A constant need for an upgrade Printing can be too much slow, long print queues may develop. MAN, Metropolitan Area Network The Metropolitan Area Network is a computer network which is similar to the local area network but spans an entire city or campus. In Metropolitan Area Network, we interconnect the user with computer resources in a whole geographic area or region. This network is larger or broader than the local area. This figure show that how computer are connected in man. Advantages of man. It provides higher security compared to one. It is wider than LAN. It helps in cost-effective sharing of common resources such as printer etc. It helps people interface fast LANs together. Man require fewer resources compared to one. Disadvantages of man. Difficult to manage. More wires required. Expensive due to the equipment. Hackers attack. Network installation requires skilled technicians. One wide area network. The wide area network is the telecommunication network which extends over the large geographical area for the primary purpose of computer networking. These networks are often established with least telecommunication circuits. The WAN connects different smaller networks, including the local area network. This figure shows that how computers are connected in WAN. Advantages of WAN Easy of communication Large network cover Share information over the large area Message can be sent very quickly to anyone else on the network It supports the global market and global business Disadvantages of WAN It is slow in speed It is complected and complex it is difficult to maintain the network. It is very costly because we have to pay every time for transferring data. One is a big and complex problem. <laughs>